Hello, Scratchers. This tutorial series is a very basic guide to the simple MMO extension. It's a powerful Scratch extension to help you make a high-quality online game. In previous episodes, we have learned about most blocks need to make an online game. If you haven't watched them, click on this card. If you have any questions about creating games in Scratch or Gandhi IDE, join our Discord server. We have a help channel. You can post your questions. Someone will help you. The link is in the description. In this episode, I will explain blocks related to the lobby and match rooms. We are going to make a matching system. And now, here we go. In episode 1, I mentioned three room types broadcast, lobby, and match room. To make a matching system, we need to use the lobby and the match room. A match room is almost the same as broadcast room. The difference is that you can set a max number of players for it. A lobby is a collection of match rooms sharing the same server ID. Players can join a lobby to get information about match rooms. First, let's learn about blocks concerning the lobby. Use this block to get a count of match rooms in a lobby. You can use this block to get information about a match room. The input should be the serial number of a match room. It counts from 0. There are 9 options. Room ID is the unique ID of the match room in the lobby. It's 9 digit. Room type of a match room is a match. Client is the count of players in the room. Max client is the max number of players the room can hold. You can set it in the connection block. We will introduce it later. Created at is the time when the room was created. Here is an example. Locked is the room's lock status. When the count of players meets the max number of the players, the room will be locked, and the value of locked will be true. Otherwise, the value is false. Extra data has been introduced in episode 1. Metadata is a JSON formatted data. It includes locked, GID, and extra data. You can use GID as a server ID. If match rooms share the same server ID, their GID will be the same. The last one, all data in JSON, includes all data in JSON format. There is a process ID in the JSON data. Normally, we don't use it. You can use it as a server ID too. If match rooms share the same server ID, their process ID will be the same. You can use them according to your need. This block can fill a list with one of the data values from all match rooms. You must create a list first to use this block. You can get JSON formatted data that includes all data from all match rooms with this block. There are three options. All means all match rooms in the lobby. Locked means all locked rooms. Unlocked means all unlocked rooms. Here is an example of the value. The last block is an event. When rooms in lobby have any change, this event will be triggered. There are three options. Any changes means any change to a room will trigger this event. Created means only a new room will trigger this event. Removed means this event will be triggered only when a room has been removed. These are all blocks concerning the lobby. One more note. When you connect to a lobby, you cannot use blocks to get data on players. Next section, all blocks concerning match rooms. Use this block to connect to a match room. You can set a max number of the players. Other options are the same as the connection block in episode 1. There is another version with weight. Next connection block, you can use it to connect to a particular room with a room ID. There is a version with weight too. The last block is used to lock or unlock a room. If a room is locked, 
New players cannot connect to the room. You can use this block to make a function for players to control the lock. Now we have discussed all blocks. I will make a simple matching system to show you how to use them. It will have four functions. Create a new match room in the lobby. Connect to an unlocked match room. Connect to a particular match room. Quit and connect to the lobby. In this project, we have several buttons. Each button has a function. When the green flag is clicked, a player will connect to the lobby. If the player in the lobby wants to create a new match room, disconnect first. Then use this block to create a match room. The server ID should be the same as the lobby. If the player wants to connect to a match room quickly, you can choose join or create. The program will find and connect to an unlocked room first. If there is not one, a new room will be created. If the player wants to connect to a particular room, here is the script. The player should input the room ID, then use this block to connect to the room. When a player in the match room wants to return to the lobby, just disconnect and connect to the lobby again. With this script, you can make a simple matching system. I made a blueprint that includes all functions I mentioned in this series. You can find the link in the description. There are three modules. The custom blocks in these modules can be used in all sprites in the project. You can read them and try to use them in your project. Finally, we have finished the series. Now, we have learned all blocks in the simple MMO extension. If you make an online games or advanced tutorials about it, post links in the comment. I will pin them. Okay, see you next time.